All right, number three reason you should be using OpenSense Azure Firewall has to do with the insight you get when you are trying to troubleshoot something. And we're going to show you a very quick example of this in the firewall section. So the we're going to come over here to firewall, the, and we're going to go into um, log files. And we're going to go to live view. Okay. And we're going to pay attention to this section up here. So the, the reason I love this is because it is such a simplified approach to filtering. Not only is it fast um, compared to other systems you've used, uh, I'm sure. For example, uh, we won't name any, actually, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in trouble, but there, most other firewalls, the filtering and the logging is very clunky and hard to use, but this is just a very slick um, interface here. So you have um, what you're looking for. So is it, an action, for example, traffic that has been blocked, passed, natted, etc. Um, so, for example, let's say we wanted to see all traffic that has been um, blocked. Okay. So you you select this section, the operator, and then um, the options here. So we're going to do blocked. Give me all all traffic where the action has been blocked. And so it gives you um, this little gray box down here. Very quick, obviously, there was no refreshing. It just popped right up. If I want to get rid of this filter, all I have to do is click on it. I mean, that is <laughs> such a simple thing, but oh my God, brilliant. Um, now you can stack these. So let's say I want to see everything that was blocked. Okay, we'll add that back in. And where the label was um, related to my GOIP filter that we have, okay? We did it in the last video. And so now you have this, this filter that um, contains these two items, right? Action contains locked, label contains GOIP. The other cool thing is here, you can save these, okay? So if I click this little button right here, and I do new, and I call this uh, block GOIP, I click save, okay? Um, if I go out of here to some other section and come back, all I have to do is ch uh, choose this blocked GOIP again and it'll show me the information I'm looking for in the live view. I mean, that, uh, you know, is just, it's such a slick interface. Very, very cool. Um, we'll go, it gives you some real basic stuff out of the box, so it can kind of give you uh, sort of categories of information. It's a nice little interface. Nothing too fancy, not in-depth, but for most home users and small businesses, it gives you enough information to get started, and it's very well done. It's very performant, um, and just... I don't know. It's it's one of the one of the little nice features of this uh, platform that I think gives it uh, an edge over a lot of the other others in the in the uh, in the market space. Now you can extend this by um, adding certain things like uh, if come here to reporting. If you add NetFlow to the system, NetFlow gives you um, a much more sort of real time perspective on traffic flowing in and out of the system. And so if we come here, the, the thing you have to do, however, is you have to come here to firmware and go to plugins and top ng is installed. So um, that's the one you have to install and top, which gives you in the in this reporting gives you a much better um, interface. You can actually drill into a lot more. Uh, but again, that's that's an add-on. We can we'll do another video on that one. I'm just talking here about the sort of the built-in um, filtering and and overview of the of the system is uh, head and shoulders above the rest, in my opinion. So that's it. Just wanted to show that to you. Um, I hope this was helpful. Again, uh, open sense. You gotta love it. 
stay tuned for uh, number four, Quattro. I need to learn another language. Bye.